What's up, y'all? With the Super Bowl right around the corner, today I'm going to bring y'all my breakdown and my little predictions of Super Bowl 55. So, personally, I think a lot of people out are like downplaying the fact that the Bucks have a very, very much talented team. But before I get to that, we can talk about the Chiefs, the obvious of what's going on with the Chiefs. The Chiefs have a very beautiful place team. The Chiefs have a team that many quarterbacks dream to play for. The Chiefs have so much weapons. Wide receiver wise, they have Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins, they have Nico Hardman. They also have Travis Kelsey, who is definitely the best tight end in the league right now. And then even a running back, they have Le'Veon Bell, they have Clyde Edwards Alaire, like they have a talented team, and of course they have Patrick Mahomes, who is a very, very much great quarterback. So obviously I don't understand why the Chiefs are a favorite to win the Super Bowl, but let's go a little bit into what the Bucks also have. It is clear that Antonio Brown will be playing in the Super Bowl game, which makes a very much big difference than we think it does. Antonio Brown has a very great impact and a great connection with Tom Brady, which is the whole reason why Tom Brady has been pushing to play with him in the first place. Now, don't get me wrong. The Chiefs are the better team. But when you look at the, the lineup, you have Mike Evans, you have Antonio Brown, you have Gronk, who obviously is not playing his best football, but can always turn around and do something crazy like we saw him do doing the, the game against Green Bay. Also, we have two good running backs in Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette. Then we also have Chris Godwin. We have people on the defense as well, and Dama Kung Su on the line. They're, this team is actually a good championship football team. A great championship football team. I mean, they're like, they even have sleepers like Scott Miller, who on the offense is actually has a good connection with Tom Brady. When you see Scott Miller play, it kind of reminds you of how Tom Brady was able to play with Wes Welker, how he was able to play with Julian Edelman. Those kind of connections are what you see with Scott Miller. Then come on, don't ever get me started off with the defense. Jason Pierre-Paul, Edelman Kong Su, Devin White, you have an Antoine Winfield. These are all great talent that I believe are, the team is complete enough to win the Super Bowl. So I personally believe that if the Buccaneers were to win the Super Bowl, I don't think it should be an upset. Yeah, the better team lost, but it's not a significantly better team. The Chiefs are a very, very great team. Like They're very good, they're outrageous, but I think the Bucs have just as good of a chance to win the Super Bowl as much as the Chiefs does. Not just necessarily because of the raw talent, but because of the fact that you have Tom Brady on the center. When you have Tom Brady on the center, you can win anything. And I'm not boosting. We've seen this happen multiple times. He was able to come back from a 28 point deficit, if not more, against the Falcons a few years ago in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady is probably one of the most clutch players in sports of recent memory. So, my pick to win the Super Bowl, you know, I'm, I'm a Mahomes fan, everyone knows this. I'm going with the Chiefs, obviously. The Chiefs, I believe they're gonna win the game. I think they have the better team. I think they have a lot of momentum on their side. So, I do say that to say this though in conclusion. This is one of the most odd type of matchups that I've seen. Reason why is because usually in the Super Bowl, there's a clear victor, there's a clear person who has momentum on their side, who have not a lot to worry about. Like last year in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs had the clear momentum. They were the better team. They had the better quarterback and everything. They had a better complete team. But at the same time, you know, with that being said, uh, Patrick Mahomes had a lot, a lot, a lot less to worry about. But in this Super Bowl, it's very much different. Yes, Patrick Mahomes has the better team. Yes, he he he's seen as the clear victor. But here's the problem. Patrick Mahomes actually has the most pressure on him. He has more pre The person on the winning team usually has less pressure than the person on the losing team. Or, we're not the losing team, but the person on the, uh, the, the less talented team. But this year, I personally believe Patrick Mahomes has, a, has much more pressure on him than Tom Brady has. 
Why? Tom Brady has six rings. Tom Brady has made it to about 10 Super Bowls. Tom Brady has proved himself time and time again. If Tom Brady loses the Super Bowl, it's going to be a 43-year-old Tom Brady fell short of it. That's fine. He's won six rings. Yeah, some people might talk trash here and there, but at the end of the day, you can't take away from Tom Brady what he's done. On the other hand, if Patrick Mahomes loses the Super Bowl, it's he lost the Super Bowl with the better team, number one. He lost the Super Bowl as a younger player and lost to a 43-year quarterback. It's also he was never able to beat Tom Brady when it matters. Because if you, if you pay attention two years ago, the reason why the Chiefs didn't make it to the Super Bowl is because they lost to the Patriots in overtime in the playoffs. So, I believe winning this game puts Patrick Mahomes at a great position. It puts him at a spot, an elite spot. Now, I'm not saying it makes him the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. I'm not saying all of that. But I'm saying it puts him at a spot where people are like, okay, he is on track to be one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game of football. On the other hand, if Tom Brady wins a seventh rank, I've had things to say about Tom Brady here and there. If Tom Brady wins a seventh rank, he is the greatest clutchest player of modern in the modern sports and I'm in recent memory Stephen A. Smith said this on his on his show and like I can't even argue with him like, you can put him ahead of Michael Jordan like he's seven rings because you're not gonna compare it going like it's easy to make the it's easy to make the finals over and over again in, in basketball it's easier than it is in the NFL seven rings seven rings and he did that with the Patriots, obviously, and then now with a different Buccaneers team that was nothing last season. They let go of the quarterback to get Tom Brady, and he wins them seven rings. If Tom Brady wins this Super Bowl, I personally think he's the undisputed clutch, the most clutch player, most great athlete of recent memory. Even over LeBron James, even over Michael Jordan, even over Kobe Bryant, like even over all these guys, if he does this, he's done something no one has done. That is my take. Final prediction. The Chiefs win the Super Bowl. 31 to 28. That is my prediction. That's gonna be the final score. Might be wrong, might be right, but Chiefs win the Super Bowl 31-28. Let me know what y'all think below. Who y'all think is gonna win the Super Bowl? Who do y'all think is gonna be the Super Bowl MVP? Personally, I think Super Bowl MVP is going to be Travis Kelsey. Patrick Mahomes is gonna ball out, everyone's gonna ball, ball out. But Travis Kelsey is most is gonna be my Super Bowl MVP of this year. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all give me your takes below. Who y'all think is gonna win the Super Bowl? Who you're rooting for? Y'all takes on Tom Brady and his greatness. And just make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know of any topics that you want me to talk about. Thank you for tuning in today, guys. Peace out.